to growing outrage this evening after thousands of National Guard soldiers who served this country were asked to pay back bonuses they were promised to re-enlist and go to war a decade ago. ABC's Mary Bruce on Capitol Hill tonight getting answers. After serving for two decades, Army Sergeant Robert Richmond agreed to go back to war after being given a $15,000 bonus. I had a contract and I served the entire contract and I risked my life to serve that contract. Now, 10 years after getting the money, the Pentagon wants it back. During the height of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, the National Guard used bonuses to entice soldiers across the country to re-enlist. Extra cash intended for those with skills in high demand. But criminal fraud by a National Guard official dispensing bonuses led many in California to receive payments they didn't qualify for. Guardsmen like Christopher Van Meter, who survived a roadside bomb in Iraq, received a Purple Heart and then notices to pay back $46,000. It was a slap in the face. In California, roughly 10,000 soldiers told to pay up. $22 million already recouped. The deputy commander of the California Guard says it's unfair, but that his hands are tied. If we could uh, wave the magic wand and make all this go away, we would. But you heard from that army sergeant there who said, I had a contract, I served the contract, why do I have to pay it back? What's being done tonight to address this, Mary? David, this ultimately falls on the Pentagon, and tonight they are looking closely at this matter, but lawmakers say this is disgraceful and unacceptable, some even calling for new legislation.